Is it Kofi, Kofi, or Coffee? Hello and welcome back to The Sims 4. Um, I'm here with Weird Al and here's a cafe. So we're going to hop into the speed build and then I'll meet you at the end. I'm also going to talk about the speed build. I'll see you at the end. I mean, I'll see you the whole time. Oh my god. Just cut. Cut. Go to the speed build. Go to the speed build. Okay, so we built this in Newcrest. Uh, Newcrest on the Civics Cliffs lot. Um, so I modeled this after... I built this on stream, and I kind of talked about this on stream, but I modeled this after a cafe I used to go to in high school, um, which used to be a house. So I thought here would be a good place for it, because, like... Usually in Newcrest, when people build up Newcrest, they have, like, this strip along the side, all houses. So this kind of makes sense. Like, oh, it's surrounded by, in theory, it's surrounded by other houses. And you can see in the world there are other houses, like, um, across the street and everything. So it made sense for me to put it here. Um, you can put it anywhere, anyways. I It's on the gallery. My gallery ID is um, the underscore Grimia. Uh, because I built this on... Twitch. Sometimes I pause to talk to chat, you know. Um, I will link, but I'll link my Twitch down below if you wanted to catch me live. Um, so I'm looking at pictures. You can't see, but I'm looking at pictures of this coffee house, and the roof was weird. Like it makes sense in real life because it's a gable facing the street and it's a gable facing the other side. So like in the real life, that kind of makes some sense, but in The Sims, it just looks weird. Um, I did decide to keep it anyways, and uh, like I said, this building originally was a house, and then it was purchased by somebody and converted into a coffee shop, an apartment up top, and a little shop on the side. I ran out of fingers. Little shop on the side. Um, I don't have the little shop on the side. I did. I do turn that into um, just part of the coffee house, and it has this little diagonal bit that sticks out, and it has like a little table in there. In the real one and also in the sim version. Um, but that was tricky. This isn't... I don't know. It was tricky for me to figure out where to place it. Now here I think is a good spot for it. Um, I do mess with the roofing a little bit later. Because I have a little porch for the apartment upstairs. It's not a very big apartment. I also didn't furnish the apartment upstairs. I left it blank. So if you wanted to furnish it. You totally could. If you wanted to like turn this into a retail bakery lot, you can. I do have... Um, I'll show you when we get there. Um, but I have the stairs on the side. I wanted more of a side yard on the other side. Um, why? Why did I want that? Oh, because of the back garden. Uh, I'm just picking a column right here. It's not very exciting. I did use the seasons column because the wood matches better. But I didn't like it. Um, um, then here, I'm just trying to figure out which blue in that cat and dog wallpaper matches the light blue from base game. Um, neither of them match, so I just went with white. And then the roof. This is just a roof. It's just a boring old roof. I do change... Yeah, here I'm adding like little porch. I tucked in the eaves on that side, and I put a second roof... And tucked it in, uh, tucked in those eaves. And I couldn't get a column, like a fence column to go there. So that was mildly annoying. But that's The Sims, you know. Um, and then the real cafe has a little archway, like where that gap is. Where their original front door used to be back when it was a house. Um, so I do have the archway and I do, eventually I put a plaque in there later. But... I also kind of do I I know I don't move it I do change the arch though I I did move it I did move it um, a little window here and I probably should have put they also have the original siding in the real building as well um, I probably should have put yarn on top of the half wall I was gonna do it like a bar put like bar seating there but um, I didn't want to because then it would have had like a counter on either side and it would have been kind of annoying. I originally started with one bathroom. I do put another bathroom on the other side and I mirror them. So that way there's two bathrooms in there. The inside is kind of cramped, you know, because it's a little house that got turned into a big retail slot lot. 
Um, and I wanted a checkerboard floor, a red checkerboard tile floor or like linoleum or something, but I couldn't, I make it with the marble from get to, uh, get famous. Sorry. Excuse me. I make it with the marble from get famous. Cause that was the only way I could get red checkerboard. And then I repeat it in the bathroom and everything. Um, we're just choosing a front door. Not really a front door. It's kind of like on the side, but I went with those and then I changed it to a bigger window um, and then the windows were big. <laughs> um, I regret using this wallpaper now that the more I look at it, the more I hate it. I should have done it without the, the column, the built-in columns and added my own. <laughs> um, so I wanted a big window with shutters, but they didn't have like a big blank window. It has like the panes in there like the lines and shit so i made my own with the um little uh, when air vents wall vents or whatever they're called um i just did that along the side and, and you can see i had a new follower because this is from my twitch fod um i do wish i used the tool. i need to learn how to use the tool mod so that way i can um just like when you use the tool mod you can select multiple things and copy them and just move them over so that would be really nice um, I did these windows up here and I used them downstairs in the back. Um, I didn't have any on the side and I kind of wish I do now, but whatever. We can't go back. We can't go back. Um, but I use those windows and I'm going to use them in the house on the side. Um, we're just picking stairs. Nothing fancy. I did go with the season stairs because I think they look a little bit better. And then the fence I have, I left a gap there. And then the fence continues all the way down in the real world uh, because there's a house on the other side, on either side of this. Um, and then we just did like a little cobbly stone walkway. Um, I've done all of this work and I haven't even put in any of the required stuff for this house. So that's good. Um, and then I just kind of... I, I just made a shape and I'm I fleshed out the shape a little. And then I kind of wanted to have like dirt along the side, but I, it didn't look very good. So I abandoned that immediately. And uh, now I'm finally, finally building this bar. Um, I wanted to move that espresso thing because I wanted it like along the side, but there's no, you can see you can't, you can only place it on that espresso bar. So if there's another way to place it, I just don't know how to do it. And I had move objects on, so it's not... It's not like I didn't actually try. Uh, we just added a dumpster there. And then the bin. Don't get used to the bin there. I do move it. Um, continuing the checkerboard tile. And what are we doing? The bathroom. I don't even remember what I'm doing, and I just stream this. Um, I, The bathroom... I wanted, like, cupboards in there. Like countertops, and then I was gonna put a sink in there, but there isn't. It's not big enough for that, so we just left it as is. What else are we doing? I don't know. It's hard to comment on this when I don't know what's going on. Uh, we're just placing tables. I was gonna do a long dining chair, but then I don't think the Sims could or dining tables. I was gonna do a longer dining table, but I don't think the Sims could get into the back seats. So I just went with this small table from Cats and Dogs, um, and then I used that quite a bit. A couple of round tables. I think all of the tables are round because I don't know. It just looked nice. I went with a bigger one uh, from Jungle Adventure because it kind of matched the same colors as the Cats and Dog ones. And then we have these nice comfy armchairs because a lot of cafes <laughs> nowadays um, have like comfy armchairs and shit. Like maybe not your Starbucks that has the corporate industrial vibe, but a lot of small town ones have like um, armchairs and shit. Like Big B is a, is a Michigan kind of Starbucks and they have like comfy-ish chairs and couches in there. Um, I put a little plaque there and then I did the residential speaker. Uh, mostly because you can turn it on and off. You can do that with the other one, but I didn't know what kind of music I wanted in here. Um, and then I had a hell of a time picking a fence because I didn't know what color. And I thought like black originally maybe, but then I just went with this white one because it's it looks fine enough. Um, changed the foundation just to be straight concrete. It's not very exciting. 
And then I went with a couple of outdoor tables. Um, I did metal ones, two with an umbrella in the front and then two with an umbrella in the back. And then just like a table in that little corner. Here we are doing the back garden. Um, I did landscape this. I did attempt to landscape. And then I added more of those little paver stones because like in the real world, you wouldn't have it. You would, ha you could have them on grass. You probably do. But in the real world, it would mush the grass down and kill it. So you might as well put pavers in there. Um, I added a little bench. Are we landscaping? Yeah, yeah. I added planter boxes. So if you wanted to make this a bakery, you could grow stuff in the backyard. You know, you could just live up top. Um, and then I do, I do have a bake case in there because it, it, it aesthetically matches. And then I'm just doing some landscaping around the back. Um, I know there's a big, yeah, I just placed the bigger lavender, but I added the small ones as well. Cause honestly, I forgot about the big one, but then we did the same thing here. I think it looks kind of nice. A lot of green and purple. Um, and then some of those wildflowers. I know there's more in the camping pack what's it called outdoor retreat i just i didn't use them um i didn't i wanted to use the actual um and there i was sneeze oh you can't even see the camera i was sneezing right there um i wanted to use debug but then i never bothered to type in the cheats so i just used regular landscaping um, and then now I'm just, I, this tent at this stage, it is functional, but I wanted to add a little bit more decorations, you know, so like a little mat. So if your boots are wet, you don't slip on the tile. Uh, we have the bait case just kind of along that wall. And then I had a hell of a time picking counters. Like I kind of wanted like the counter to like wrap all the way around in the back, but I, for the life of me could not figure out how I was going to do that. So I just put a wall in there and made it like a kind of tiny enclosed area, but it's still all technically one room as I uh, forgot and immediately found out again. I should have closed it, but eh, eh, whatever. Um, adding a back door and then I mirror the bathroom here just so we have two, which doesn't really seem to matter, but it's nice to have more bathrooms. It just, it looks the exact same. And I, yep, there we are. We moved the bin. I wanted to put a bathroom or a bathroom. I wanted to put a bin in the bathroom, but I wasn't sure how to go about doing that. Uh, I just went with these base game cabinets. I didn't want super crazy expensive furniture or um, appliances, but I didn't want the, like I wanted nice ones, but I didn't want an ass load of them. Um, this, it kind of looks like a coffee house thing. Like sometimes coffee, independent coffee houses have like their roasters out there and everything. Um, oh, we got another follower. <laughs> so I thought like maybe like that would work, you know, but it didn't fit in there because like it takes up so much fucking space. So I put it in the side um, and that's just like a little bake room now. It's got a little fridge and everything. So in theory, your Sims don't have to go to that other fridge, but you know, we all know they will. Uh, we just added a little garden hose, a smoke detector, um, that chalkboard sign. I don't. I think I delete it, but maybe I don't. Uh, the cork board, because every coffee shop in across America has a cork board in it. The community cork board. I added both of them in there for community things you know like you got a business to advertise or something um and then i'm just adding some decorations kind of wherever i feel like um i don't know yeah that's really that's really all i got and now begins my search the corkboard i'm looking for is in get together the one with the coffee cups on it because it's for cafes obviously and cafe is came out in get together so i checked dine out i checked university and i couldn't find it but i did find other stuff i wanted like this the shelves with the cambros all over them um with those are those containers you see with the lines on them the, the brand is called cambros this little thing that could be used for scheduling and i'm like well i can't find it so we'll just use this one and then i had the thought that maybe it's in get together and there it is. There's the chalkboard menu I wanted. 
Um, I did size it up and I did change it to the, like the nice little pink one because I think it looks cute. Um, I'm just adding a couple more windows. I did recreate my fake window or my fake blonde, um, my fake shutters here on these windows. Um, I don't have any on the other side of the building. I couldn't tell you why. I honestly, I probably forgot. Um, I was just scrolling to make sure because I feel like there is a shutter item or a shutter-esque item in the game and I just can't find it. Um, I thought those things looked kind of cool so I looked at them all and I eventually settled on this one to add. Um, but we are almost done with a speed build so let's um, we're gonna go hop into the game and I'll give you another really quick tour of it. Eventually. We're here again. Um, but this is... No windows on that side. This is the cafe. Um, here's the upstairs apartment I left empty if you want to use it for anything you totally can. Uh, we have our little... Oh, let's get some screenshots while we're here. There is our lovely... Oh, I want to keep this paused because I don't want people doing stuff <laughs> but yeah this is it's kind of nice you can see my beautiful shutters a little chalkboard menu here another menu here a uh, little walkway that goes into the back garden so you could come and have a seat you could grow some plants maybe there's like a community a community garden-esque business here. You know, just kind of whatever. It's just whatever. I guess, could you go to work? Alright, hang on. Let me order, uh... Let's order a drink. I love that everybody's heads keep turning. But yeah, you got your little ordering station. You got a little seating area. There's a lot of employee things. I guess really... Jesus Christ. I know how to play The Sims. I know what the short keys are. <laughs> I swear I do. Can I steal some of these cannolis? But yeah, that's. there's nothing really fancy about this. This is just... This is the cafe. <laughs> It is already on the cafe. You can see my gallery ID back there, the underscore Grimia. It is called the Sim Roasters Cafe. Um, it uses quite a bit of packs. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, that's a nice, lovely little cafe. Um, and it's cute. Everything works, obviously. You just saw me in there with Weird Al playtesting it. So yeah. Um, that's it for... <laughs> Do the endings ever get any less awkward? No. No, they don't. That's it for me today. Um, if you enjoyed this video, remember to like, subscribe, comment, bells, all the bells and whistles you could ever, ever imagine. Um, they're all there. <laughs> and I, I'm gonna see you guys next time. I don't know. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave before this gets even more awkward.